When we left the ramp, I felt accomplished. It was like, this is cool, man. We did, you know, the research on the ramp. We traveled like half across the world to find this place. We find it, we cleaned it up, and we made it rideable again. Man, I, I, everything, everything was worth it. When I first saw the ramp, I was like stoked that dude, we found this thing and you know, just amazed that this thing's been there for so long, like untouched basically. So, uh, you know, we got down to the ramp and we started looking at like, well, what are we working with? So I needed to, at first I started looking at the transitions to make sure that, you know, it was definitely rideable, but then you had grass and you had roots and you had a bunch of other stuff that we cleaned up the, the mini ramp and the very ramp and just went to it. The vibe of the place was very cool. It, you know, you're in like a middle of the jungle and I was with some of the Malay riders and you know, they always have a good vibe. They're always happy. So, uh, you know, it was cool to ride with them there. I knew like everything was gonna be a bit tough to ride for everyone, but you know, we were there having a good time, just trying to deal with the weather, I think was the, the hardest part of, of riding the ramp because dude, it's crazy, it's super hot. Like I remember looking at my phone like, Dude, the humidity is, is insane. But at one point I was like, dude, this, this is just not working. This is seriously the devil's rant. It's that sense of accomplishment. Like, dude, it was, since day one, when we were talking about this, it's like, we knew it was gonna be hard to ride. We didn't know how hard it was gonna be. But not only that, like trying to go in out of my comfort zone, I was accomplished. I was like, dude, this is cool. I'm psyched that we made this. And you know, I'm, I'm happy that everything worked out well. <laughs> 